Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. And I'm Brianna Motzkis, and today is Fabric Chat. Hello! Good morning! <laughs> From snowy Washington State. <laughs> Our roads are pretty awesome, though. Our I roads are say. good. It's kind of funny. And I don't know if it was from... The sun came out, but it's not like it warmed up. Yeah. But I think everybody out driving around and stuff. So our roads yeah. are not bad. But we end up here with so much snow, and there's no place to put it. And so it's kind of big piles everywhere. And um, did you see Leavenworth made national news? <gasps> Finally! National news. Um, 48 inches in 12 yeah. hours. There's some pictures. Maybe at the end we can um, add it to the end so you can see. But there's a picture of downtown Leavenworth. And it mm -hmm. there's so much snow that all you see are these little bumps. And those little bumps or you see cars. in all the snow are the cars. No one could get in to or out of Leavenworth for three days. Yep. Yeah. And we still have, um, I think we mentioned this. Um, I don't know, I tell everybody this, so maybe I've just been whining <laughs> to everyone. But um, our passes, do the passes open? No, it's not. Still it's still closed. closed. Yep. So we are on now seven days. Yeah. Seven days of passes being closed. Because I do believe on Monday they opened it for a couple hours for the freight trucks to come through. For two I, hours. I think okay. they did, and I think that made everybody mad. Because it's like, wait, 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 but wait. Just because I ain't got no bread and milk in my yeah. truck. It wasn't the Amazon trucks. It was the... Walmart trucks, it yeah. was the food carrying trucks, the refrigerator yeah. trucks, that's what came through. Your Amazon packages are still not, still not coming. coming. Yeah, still not coming. <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of funny because we're so um, cut off because yeah. the Cascade Mountains, you know, go right through um, just about the center of the state. And so there's four different mountain passes to connect us, and all four of them are closed. Yeah. And the main one, Snoqualmie, which is Interstate 90 that goes across the state, they have over 27 feet of snow three I, um, stories i can't high. wait to see the picture i know to drive through it i just like this tunnel yeah. of i think crazy. that would be a little scary a little scary yeah a tunnel the yeah, entire there's a lot way. of avalanche up there too yeah. so because sabrina had yeah. to get to um doctors a doctor's from in seattle with randy on monday so the pass was totally closed they had to go all the way down to portland and up i-5 mm -hmm. instead of a two and a half hour drive it took them what was it it took them 14 hours 14 yeah. hours. It took them longer than it would other people because I think they probably stopped a couple times. <laughs> but, them, snack, but shopping, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're yeah. going. Yeah, if you're going. Well, yeah. we're in Portland? Yeah. yeah. No, maybe not. But anyway, so, it took them a long a time. A long time. Yeah. So, yeah, so trucks could go down and around, but oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm just glad because I'm not. Because Seattle mm -hmm. to Portland is what? About a three hour drive. Yeah. Portland yeah. over to Tri Cities is a couple hours. Tri Cities up. A couple hours. Yeah, so it should take you nine to ten hours if you just get in and go. Maybe a potty break. Yeah. I know. Wine, wine, wine. I know. But we, but, you know, it's just what we, we, we're used to three seasons. We're yeah. used to snow. Well, four seasons. We're yeah. used, I mean, four seasons. We're, it's great. <laughs> we're blocking around the nine. nine. <laughs> around the nine. We're, um, we're used to snow. We generally have a beautiful spring and a beautiful fall, and and we can get to over a hundred degrees in the summer. Yeah. So we're used to some extremes. A little yeah, bit, the but only different thing is we're used to this amount of snow over the three month period. Not all. Of not us. in a weekend. Yeah, no, but no, it's a lot. We can't help but be a little bit pleased with it because of the drought. Yeah. You know, we we've needed, needed the water. Needs everybody the needed it. Cal yeah, it's just hard. Everybody's the same way. It's like now we got it all at once. So anyway, and I yeah. know that everybody there's bad weather all around so yeah anyway so so the other thing that we wanted to mention with this was the scrap bag video so we felt kind of oh. bad because of course on Friday so you know everything was shut down people couldn't get out of their driveways um, and even if you could get out of your driveway you didn't really want to be on the roads and too many of us drive normal just little cars and little vehicles mm. you know so we um, so being closed on Thursday and Friday that's why we did that special little box opening at my house because <laughs> I had my iPhone and Tracy is like lives two blocks from us so it was really nice did you see all that did you watch it i did watch it i and love the ending where lisa's like i know out there <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> i was gonna say people like called me out on that because all the comments was like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wasn't going out in that 
I was not going to. She's like, a nervous driver. Love you, bye bye. Yeah. But um, but the funny thing about that that I want to say is that that was my front door. And what's funny about that, if you've been to my house, you know this. That my front, I have a. There's an awning out there. That is a covered porch. Yeah. So it is a covered porch, and that hedge is lilacs. And so that little opening is right there. All that snow that was there did not fall from the sky. It blew in. Yeah. All of that snow. So that's how much snow there was. It's like, yeah, I'm not going out there. I'm not going to. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> but she was on. <laughs> Even Lizzie. I, I, Lizzie going, yeah, I love that look. Yeah. Like, nope. Nope. Yep. <laughs> nope. We're going to shut this door now. Hope you make it to your car. Yeah. <laughs> not coming out. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So that's sorry, funny. but it's like I said to somebody else because people were commenting on that on the um, YouTube. You know, it's like, yeah, I know, but I admit to being high maintenance. I totally am. Yeah. I I yes. I a hundred percent admit to that. So I apologize, and I was supporting Tracy from within the house and as she left. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but. The other bad thing about that video is that um, those scrap bags. Oh yeah. 19, 19 minutes? 22? Was it 22? I don't know. Less than 30 minutes gone. gone. All of them. All, All that hard work gone. gone. That bad. Oh, I know. Super sorry. So we felt really bad about it because everybody kept saying the same thing. It's like, well, I can't find them on your website. I can't find them on your website. Yeah. Well, we're going to fix that a little bit. And what Brianna is going to do is if you go to our website um, and across the top on that menu bar, it'll say shop online. Click on shop online, and then when you go there, there are other tabs. It's so the there's fabric, fabric blah, 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 books, blah, blah, blah. Go all the way down to the bottom, and if you go all... Did you want through, Lizzie? No, she's she's like, kind of do. Um, if you go all the way down to the bottom, it'll say scrap bags slash... Remnant rolls. Remnant rolls. And that's where they'll be. And if you don't see any there, it's because they're all gone. Mm -hmm. But what happened was when we'd put them on, when they were all gone, they weren't coming up. No matter what you searched, they weren't anywhere because there wasn't a specific category. But yeah. we're going to add a category so you'll at least be very clear that you're in the right spot and there just really are not any left. So I feel kind of bad about that. But we didn't realize they were going to sell out that quickly. But I think everybody was the same. Everybody was home shopping because there was <laughs> you nowhere to go. go. Yeah, no groceries left. So sorry. <laughs> so that's why, too, what we added, and if you happen to be a subscriber and got notified last night, we had a special little, wasn't really a box opening, but it was remnant rolls. And so that's what these are. So what we did is the scrap bags, you know, Tracy does work pretty hard at putting the scrap bags together, but the scrap bags are based on, um, again, cutting kits, small little They're remnants, pieces. weird pieces. You know, we could A strip left over. A strip left over. Um, when we're doing um, videos and we have um, things that we've cut for the video, but we're not going to really finish that quilt or we finish the quilt and there's all of these things left over. That's what the scrap bags are. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fabric in there, a lot of fabric, but there's some small pieces mm -hmm. and sometimes she puts fun little surprises in there. There's all kinds of cool things in there, but they are truly scraps. So, um, so they take a while mm -hmm. to put together because, um, we have to collect all of that stuff, put it all together. And she puts a lot of thought into it. The color, she coordinating and make sure it all goes together make sure that it would look good together so they take a little while to put together so so um i think she was excited that all of that work yeah. was sold out in 30 <laughs> minutes but it was amazing that all of it was gone so quickly so um we wanted to do something special for people that couldn't find anything so we have a lot of remnants and the remnants uh we don't put them online we take them off of we take that fabric off of online so you wouldn't necessarily know that it's even here but there's a lot of them and so we thought we could bundle some remnants and so we did these remnant rolls and so they are let's see they are at least, at least a half a yard mm -hmm. at least a half a yard of fabric in there and your bundle is at least five yards of fabric at least five yards and fabric. nothing smaller than 18 by 42. Yeah. So it's not really scraps. It's actually workable. So if you're like someone mm -hmm. who likes the idea of a mystery something, mm -hmm. you know, you might know it's greens and blues. Um, no, let's hold this one. Yeah. Up. But um, and it gives you bigger workable things. You don't have to yeah. worry about bits if you're not much of a You really filter. could put. So at, and, and did you already say that there's, so at least 
a half a yard and at least five yards of fabric mm -hmm. so you could put a lap size quilt together pretty easily maybe even a twin size depending upon what yep. else you have to go with it and um, they do have little labels on them so you know that this piece is 33 inches and this piece is 27 inches and you know whatever they right. are and so the other thing that we did so we bundled a bunch together Tracy did this and um, bundled a bunch together and um, we sold them for because we figured that the value is over $50 mm -hmm. for over 10 yards and since the scrap bags were $19.99, we thought we would do these for um, $29.99. Mm -hmm. So it really um, figures out to about $6 per yard of fabric. So it's a really, it's really, a really good, good price. Mm -hmm. uh, better than our remnant price because our remnants in the store are 15% off of what they were um, when they were on the bolt. Yeah. And so it is a really good deal. So anyway. But um, you have to be stuck with what we choose is pretty. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> what we put together, what we and what Tracy put yeah. together. And so anyway, um, I have not looked to see if those are all sold out, but um, if they are all sold out, I apologize, but keep watching because then what we'll, we'll do is the same thing. More more. We'll keep adding more and more. So sometimes there might be just a fun little surprise, you found one, or we might <laughs> announce to the world that there's a bunch that we've put up. So anyway, so those are up there. We've added more clearance to the website. Yes. So there are some kind of fun things, but anyway, so we wanted to mention that and apologize about the scrap bags and and if you did not know about this because it went out last night make sure you subscribe click that little bell button and then yeah. you'll get an email your phone will do a little, say, hey, little fabric chime. Catch did something yeah what did so, they do and maybe you'll want to watch it later but if you see what it is maybe you want to watch it right now yeah. So, yeah yeah so anyway so yeah that's what that was and then um, the other thing happening this week that we should mention, and we'll mention it again um, tonight during box opening, and we'll mention it again Friday morning during box opening, is that the retreat registration is open yes. on Saturday morning at 8.30 in the morning. 8.30 is when Brianna is going to turn that button on. And um, so that's on the 15th. And this is how we always do it, is that on January 15th, we open the registration for the retreats and it is first come, first get. And so um, we have, at the moment, we have four retreats that are planned. We oftentimes do five and we might end up adding another one, but uh, we're not gonna commit to anything mm -hmm. right now. We've got a couple other things going on this year and we just didn't wanna be super crazy about it. But what will happen is, on the website, what you'll see, there's a special little tab for it, and it has a fun you're, little... Also, if you are subscribed to our newsletter, you're going to get a special email with just this with links in it. So, on at 8.30 mm -hmm. on Saturday. Yeah, it'll be, yeah. It's going to look like this. Yep. It's two pages. So, this front one is just a little descriptor. We have lots and lots of videos about the retreat center. We've done tours out there, we've mm -hmm. shown different things. And when you come to a retreat with us, you get a little pre video about what to know when you come, what to bring when you come. Um, but that's kind of what this one covers. And if you can tell, uh, this is a little picture of Jordan. Yeah. And who else is, is in there? Ryan? Eliza and Orion. Mm -hmm is in there in the lake and so anyway it talks about that a little bit and I'm just going to read one little section of this um, to talk about your rates um, everything is the same price but your rate pays for uh, five days and four nights lodging in a room just steps from the event center with all lodging meals class instruction gift bags and door prizes provided you can arrive anytime after 1 p.m. on Wednesday to get settled in and set up at your personal workstation. And your personal workstation is two four foot um, by two foot tables and a roller, a rolling chair and a garbage can. And um, at least at least one design wall, if not two design walls. And then um, dun, 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 you will have evenings to take a hike, kayak, catch up on some UFOs or soak in the famous Mineral Rich Lake. Classes are 9.30 to 4.30 on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. 
uh, before packing up and checking out by noon on Sunday. We always have optional evening events planned. If you want to take a break from sewing, you might want to visit our internationally known glass blowing artist. Uh, she lives a block away from me. Cool you might place. want to see a play that is two blocks from me. Take a hike to the hill above the lake or enjoy a tour of Grand Coulee Dam and the Laser Light Show. We only have room for 18, which means these retreats do fill up quickly. So, and then it says, please see descriptions and prices. And so that's what happens is that's how these are. I'm just going to put that down, back down. <laughs> but there are, um, there are four retreats. Well, and I can tell you there is the machine embroidery retreat, which is going to be in September. Mm -hmm. Brianna teaches that. And it doesn't matter what machine you have, if it's a Faf or a mm -hmm. Brother or a Janome. And it's all about machine embroidery. Um, last year we had two people who had never even touched their embroidery machine before. Mm -hmm. They have sewn on it before because of course they came in, did their little lessons, did whatever, and they could just do basic, basic piecing. They had never put on the embroidery unit. So when they left, they were doing it themselves mm -hmm. and then continued mm -hmm. to, you know, a couple weeks later, oh, I did this all by myself. It felt so good. So you can know nothing mm -hmm. and I will teach you something. Mm -hmm. Um, and our projects range from very easy to a little more, and anybody can do it, whether you're a novice, a brand new embroiderer, you can do it, or if you're somebody who has been embroidering for yeah. a while, You'll you still will still enjoy it. And yeah. I have other ways you can, you know, ump it up a bit if you feel mm -hmm. like oh that's way too easy for me i'll you know beginning project advanced project yeah but what's really nice about it is that you are immersed in Nothing machine embroidery but. that is what you're doing and yeah. so you will leave feeling extremely comfortable mm -hmm. about loading things unloading things getting it yes. all done and and we put a kit together so for the yeah. four projects we're doing i have the kit for you pre-cut Pre-kit, pre-everything. So if you're wanting, um, you don't have to bring anything with you. If you're wanting to do other things, like, oh, my granddaughter wants this embroidered on a pillowcase, bring that fabric. Mm -hmm. We can wash it for you if you don't have it pre-washed. Mm -hmm. We can get you all stitched out. But you have to bring um, nothing with you except the machine, of course. Yeah. And we have all the kits and everything. So it's really, it's a really, really, really fun. good one. It's very, very popular. It's so popular. We used to do it twice a uh, lot, in though. a year. <laughs> this year, we're only going to do it once. Um, and this is not the one. If we think we're adding another one, it won't be machine embroidery. So we might go back to two next year because it will be the one that will fill up quickly. So yeah. just FYI. And again, it doesn't matter what machine you have. We sell off here, but she's well If you bring your everything. manual, I can figure. She got you. Yeah. So that one's in September. The other one is the Christmas open house. I think we called it fall fun last year, but I think I said, hey, let's just call it what it is. Yeah. It's getting a jump start on Christmas sewing and it's all of our new patterns and new designs and new things. That one's in October this year. There's the summer garden retreat in June. And then there's the sunny days retreat, which is the one that we think of more for like beginners. If you really, and we have two different projects that we're doing. Mm -hmm. One is for an absolute beginner you know, you feel super, super nervous about sewing, or you can do the other version of it is for somebody who um, feels a little bit more comfortable with piecing. But the whole retreat is start to finish. Mm -hmm. We talk about selecting fabric, we talk about um, cutting fabric, piecing everything, quilting it together, um, selecting all of your backing and your batting and all of the math involved with that and even binding. So it is a start to finish um, quilt project. So, and again, that's about, we've said too much. I know, right? <laughs> we've said too much. Ah, so, um, so anyway, um, at 8.30 on, on Saturday, this goes on. And here's the other thing that we'll mention is that in previous years, all you know is that we're sold out, we're sold out, we're sold out. What we're going to do this time is we're going to have a button and I don't we haven't fully got that done yet yeah. so it but here's what's going to happen is I know that there has to be a fee for it so it'll be a penny you have to pay a penny pennies non-refundable doesn't apply to so anything sorry. it's a penny <laughs> and so that penny <laughs> she yeah because she can't have a button to be on a waiting list because we can't attach it unless you pay something yeah. it's kind of a funny system and so yeah it's weird so you have to pay a penny and for that penny, we'll know that Susan is the very got on the waiting one. list, and we'll know that at nine seventeen, you paid your penny, and that's what put you above somebody else. Because otherwise, we used to put people on waiting lists through phone calls and emails and text messages, and we'd think, oh shoot, you know, who who was yeah. first in line? Did somebody write that down? Was it three days later? So this way, we will have an active record. Um, because that's the other thing that happens is something always happens. 
life happens. And, yeah. Didn't make it over. Um, can't come now for some reason. Didn't realize my nephew was getting married. Um, you know, unexpected surgery. Shoot, I broke my arm. There's all kinds There's of things that happen. And so we try and we give you a full refund um, if we can replace you is the way that we've always done it. So if you know, if you've paid for your spot, but you know two months ahead of time or even a month ahead of time, mm -hmm. we absolutely can replace you easily. Yep. Um, sometimes if it's two days before, man, it's we're hard. going down that list and saying, mm -hmm. can you be here in two days? Can you be here in two days? So anyway, so, so that's how we'll do that is we have 18 spots to fill for each retreat. They do fill quickly mm -hmm. and then if you really want to be on the waiting list, it's going to cost you a penny. Yeah. And exactly. if you want to be on the waiting list for you, if you email me and if you pay your penny for the flower garden waiting list, don't put in your email, oh, but I'll take any. Um, what I would suggest you do is pay your penny for whatever you want to be. It'll be it might cost you four cents. It'll be in different folders. What we do is yes. each retreat has their own folder so we know everyone who's coming. Yeah. Our um, meals, yeah. our food allergies, all of that stuff is in their own folder. So we're yeah. not going to look in the embroidery retreat folder to find out that someone in the summer garden said they... Susan would have taken that one. Yeah, we don't yeah. know. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. So anyway, you know us. We need it easy. <laughs> one spot. Right A lot of moving parts. Where we're going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so that is this Saturday. Set this. your alarm. 8.30. Bunch we laugh. Because we I'm want excited. to see you. Yeah, There's a couple of really mm -hmm. fun people, you know, that order from us all the time and send little messages and we send messages back and some of them have said, you know, um, Jennifer Robinson. So, oh, it's going to be Saturday. It's like, oh, I hope you get in. I, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, which one do you want? You know, yeah. so it's, you know, we, um, so anyway, we're nervous because yeah. we, um, we always have the best time. Um, everybody that yeah, ends up do. being roommates um, love each other because that's what's happening is, you know, I want to make sure in room with yeah. somebody that they, that they met the year before and they just become best friends. It's and, cool. Yeah. It's so really cool. anyway, it's really, really nice. And we have such a great time and we are out there. Brianna and I are out there with you the whole time. Um, the whole time. Mm -hmm. uh, we're there hanging out from, gosh, I usually get out there about seven o'clock in the morning. Brianna comes rolling in whatever time. <laughs> and then um, Brianna goes home to feed her family dinner. And then I stay out until oh my gosh which was the group I think it was the fall fun group man they were up until like two o'clock I was so tired I was so tired like, these guys don't sleep but um but we had a really good time we get a little punch drunk then yeah you, you do, know yeah. then it's you're just laughing you're all the time in. but yeah Thank but anyway hilarious. yeah so we have a really good time and then always on the last night we have a big barbecue with all of the staff um they come out and we all um, get together with everybody so we just it's have fun. a really good time and it's we just wish fun. we wish we had a bigger place and could have more people yeah more than 18 but mm, at the moment that's how many beds we have so anyways all right what else is happening other good things oh the other thing that's happening is um today at 1 a.m p.m p.m <laughs> a little late yeah no. I missed it. you missed it <laughs> It's because I was thinking, I was thinking too quickly. I was going to say Q and A. Yeah. <laughs> at 1 QM. Yeah. PM. At 1 PM, yes. we're having our live Q and A about the cruise. And it's, so. it's a Zoom. It's a live Zoom call. Oh, yeah. That's what it's it is. how we decided it might be easier. Um, yeah, because then we can record it. Um, for people who wanted to see it. And so um, so we did last year, we did a river cruise um, from Nashville to, no, from Memphis, Memphis to Nashville. Nashville. Mm -hmm. um, everybody said, gosh, it that's a two hour drive and it took us seven days to get there. <laughs> With a long We had a <laughs> really good time though. We had a fantastic time. Those of us that went on that cruise, we still get together every month. We have yeah. a cruise guild and we meet via Zoom. Um, we're doing a round robin right now, That's and cool. a lot of those guys are coming with us again. We just had such a good time together, and we're doing um, a Mediterranean cruise in June of this year. We know that COVID will be all over and done with. Yes. Uh, every virus mm -hmm. anywhere will be gone by then. Yeah. 
<laughs> and so uh, we're committed. And uh, we also know that if something does happen and you test positive, you do get a refund. I mean, um, we're cruising with Celebrity Cruise Lines. Celebrity Cruise Lines, they are like on it. They got to go on They're arm. still not full capacity. They still have only um, half of the boat full. Uh, they have all kinds of... of um, Precaution, precautions. Yeah, that's, that's really the best, the best way. way to say it. Put in place in case any of those weird yeah. things happen. And I have to say, I have always been a germaphobe. Uh, uh, COVID has multiplied that by 10 for yeah. me, but I am comfortable. I was very comfortable on our river cruise, yep. which was a year ago, and I'm comfortable going on this one. Um, and I trust the boys. Um, so if you are coming with us or if you're kind of thinking about it or you're just curious, it doesn't matter. You don't, there, no commitment. Um, you can come to the live Q and A and just listen, or maybe you'll have some questions. We are going to record it. And when we record it, are we going to put it on YouTube then for people to watch it? Can we, we do could. that? I think we can. Um, or what I can do. Um, yeah. Cause I mean, you or, can choose or, to sh or park it on our website. I can park it on our website because we do have a cruise with, cruise with us tab that talks all about it. And I'll park it at the bottom right there. That is the okay. Q&A about it. And then if you're interested, you can do it that way. Um, and then also all the contact information to um, the, uh, what is it called? To sign up the registration. The registration. Yeah, the registration's there also. So the guides, and the guides do all of it. You can register, but they mm -hmm. read through all of it. They call you. They talk to you. They take care of you. They are, they are travel yes. concierges. Yes, I'm also going to attach their YouTube stuff. They've started doing YouTube, so you Fun. can meet the guys. Mm -hmm. You can. They have um, videos about what they do. Mm -hmm. I think they have that one finally posted about when they were on Celebrity. Yeah. Um, just a couple yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. Of so, all of the precautions, they have the stateroom tour. Um, yeah, they're working they're on doing a lot really of good stuff. job. They are fantastic. Neither of us will ever travel again without using them. Mm -hmm. So that's the other thing too. If you don't want to go to the Mediterranean with us, but if you're thinking of doing something a else, family call gets these guys. Together. Yeah, these guys are great. There's a couple of Sue mm -hmm. Orio. There's a couple people that have used them yeah. for planning I other things. I used them. Um, Robert and I are going yeah. to Mexico in the end of April for a wedding, and we used. I texted John and said, "Hey, this is where we're going. This is where the shindig's happening." And he's like, "Oh, there you go." And it was great. And he saved you like nine hundred bucks. He did because my yeah. mother-in-law placed the same thing, and I said, "I'm going to go through my travel agency." And she kind of gave me a look like, "Oh my god, you're so high maintenance," but I am. I mean, <laughs> yes, oh. but still. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, "No, I got him," and so I did this, and I said, "Oh, well, this is my price." She's like, "Really?" I said, yeah, do you want my number? Well, no, I already booked it. Like, oh, sorry. Yeah. But it's really great. We have, they have it set up where we're going to have a um, escort, essentially. They're going to pick us up. We're have, like on the movies. Motzkuses. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> They're going to pick us up at the airport, yeah. drive us to our place. And then when it's time to leave, they will, that same person will come pick us up and take us to the airport. So I'm yeah. super excited and Robert's super nervous because he's, I don't know, I think he's going to be stolen. I don't know. <laughs> To Mexico. That's where you guys went for your we're honeymoon. honeymoon. Yeah, we went to Cabo. So um, I think it'd be great. And we're going to be there with, a, I think, with really fun people. Yeah. That at least speak the language. And I get the babies. And yes, mama gets the babies. Last so time I fun. had the babies, we had broken bones afterwards. But that's not <laughs> so going to happen. <laughs> this time, we're not going to go. Not going to happen. We're not going to find new ways to play helicopter <laughs> with a dog. <laughs> no. No. So yeah, so they're really great. So the live Q&A um, today. Today. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Um, it'll be linked below the Zoom link, so yeah. whether you want to get on on your phone and just listen. Um, if you can't make it and you're coming, send us your questions. Um, yeah. Send us an email we'll ask, ask and them. we'll ask them for you. Um, and then we will also um, have it available, that same people um, that may have gotten the mass email that said, hey, this is happening, you guys will get the recorded version already. Yeah. Um, those of you that come in, aren't able to make it, but want to watch it later, again, fabricpatch.net, Click the Cruise With Us tab, scroll to the very bottom, um, and then you can um, watch it and see what's going on. Yeah. So, yeah. Today. Super excited. Super excited. Pacific time. All right. That's what, let's see. So, today, 1 p.m., tonight, box opening. Lots yes. of boxes. Yes. Friday morning, box opening. Saturday. What else we Retreats. want to talk about? I know. So many things. So many things. We are working on videos. We still, um, you know, we thought for sure after all of the sickness in December that we were going to get caught up and then the snow set us back and we don't I even hope. know. So uh, we don't even know. 
what's happening. But I, what we do know... Yes, that's... What, and um, those of you that were expecting the... <gasps> oh, Tannenbaum. Yes. That is... Oops. Yeah, sorry. It's um, in the snow ditch. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's but coming up on Thursday, go, maybe. Yeah, we're planning we're to have it go Thursday. tomorrow. We're hoping We put that in the newsletter anyways, so fingers crossed. We're hoping Thursday will go up. I did not tell you in the newsletter what time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Tricky. <laughs> yeah. If you're a subscriber, you'll know when it's out. Uh, <laughs> otherwise... <laughs> it's like Thursday. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we just, yeah. we can't, we can't seem to catch a break out here. I don't, I don't know. know. And you know, here's Why? the thing. People ask all the time how many people work here. We are not kidding when we say <laughs> there's eight employees. That's it. Yeah. That's it. We don't have this big old team that does everything. No, we're trying to find the time and going, oh my gosh, look what time it is now. <laughs> so anyway, we're trying to get caught up. And the other things that we're working on is... Um, oh, yeah. This quote behind us is popcorn. This we've talked about popcorn quilt a couple times because people talk about a um, I think it's called a biscuit quilt or a puff one or they a puff it, quilt they call it because puff. in the olden days back in the sixties seventies eighties everybody made a biscuit quilt and the only way to make it was to make these tiny little mini quilts that you sew together. That is not how this one is done. This one is the funnest story because this one was done. That pattern still has little me pictures in it. Little me. Little Brianna <laughs> pictures. Um, yeah, the way that she made this was, well, she just thought that that was the way it goes together. And it's like, hey, you're onto something here. So anyway, we tweaked it a little bit and um, realized that uh, there was a fun way to do it. So it's a really cool technique, but yeah. it's a really fun video. You'll have to watch that, and she'll explain all of that. But we're still filming that, still in editing, so hopefully it'll be up next week. But yeah. watch for Popcorn Quilt because it's pretty it's fun. It's coming soon. Yeah, and then we're also doing a Quilt Math one. People have been asking a ton about Quilt Math. And, um, mm -hmm. and for the quilt map for how to figure out how much fabric you need for borders and backing and binding and those. So we're going to do those. We'll get all of those done. And then, um, uh, what else was it? Oh yeah. And, but yeah, see, I already have way too many things on here that I should, <laughs> I should not have. <laughs> but what I can do is I'm going to, uh, I'll answer a couple of questions. So, um, people were asking about the potato bags and if you did not make these for Christmas, I don't know why, because this way, out. you are missing out yeah. because it's the fastest thing to make. And when you get the individual ones, we do send it's all pre-cut. It looks just it. The fabric is exactly this size, and then it comes with um, cardstock for gifting this to somebody, so it tells how long to bake something. But that's why. Um, and the pattern, uh, you can download the pattern. You can kind of do your own thing. But all you do is you're just going to hem it on both sides, flip it over, sew that together, and then turn it right side out, and you're done. And it's your little potato Sweet. cooker. So people were asking what the difference was. You don't have to buy the full yard of fabric. You really can just buy the individually cut ones. And we'll keep doing that. We did get some more of that in stock. So uh -huh. we're fine with this, and we're fine with the design wall. Um, that stuff came mm -hmm. in also. So at the moment, we're um, whatever's happening with um, trucks on the passes, that stuff had arrived before. So yeah. we're all good. So the other questions that people were having was about backing fabric and us tearing the fabric. So mm. I just want to explain yes. this a little bit because last week we got that beautiful batik. Oh, um, the Modern Love Extra Wide. Modern Love Extra Wide. Oh, and it wasn't batik, it's, it's digital. digital. And so what happens is we tear backing fabric. And um, people get a little nervous about that because when you tear, you truly are stressing that fabric. So instead of having this nice even cut, you have kind of this funny flared, obviously distressed edge where it's a little bit, um, you can see that, that the print is distressed a little bit. So we want you to know two things. One thing is that, you know, if we, you're asking for two yards, you're not getting just that 72 inches. We have, we realize that you've got about three inches at both ends that you don't want to count. So we've taken that into mm -hmm. account. The other thing is that we have to tear it because if we cut it, imagine if you take backing fabric. So I want you to see this. Yes. Because the backing fabric be 108 inches. They fold it in half and in and half, in half again. again. And they don't care. If it lines up or not, they're going to fold it right. there two times and wrap it on that bolt. And so if you were going to cut this, it absolutely is not going to be straight. It comes with an hourglass. Right. And so when you pin it onto your long arm, it could be doing all kinds of weird things. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that it is straight 
on your long arm. So the only way to do that is to tear it. So just FYI, yeah, you're going to see a funny little stress edge. edge on there, but we didn't really start measuring your fabric until about here. Mm -hmm. So we know that that looks horrible, but again. It's better to have 72 inches all the way down yeah. than 72, 60 R, you know. And I have to tell deal. you, we learned that the hard way. We did. We absolutely learned it the hard way. It's like, mm -hmm. I don't know why, I swear I cut that right, but you, you don't have any control when it's folded and folded again, and yeah. you're cutting through um, four layers four, mm -hmm. at once. So anyway, so that's why. That, and that's the that only like that. thing we tear is 108. Yeah, we don't tear anything We else. cut everything else with a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors. Even Minky. We cut with a, yeah. yeah. And it, yeah. So yeah, so we wanted to, yeah, mention that. So, all right, let's see. I should, a um, couple other kind of weird things on here. Oh, I should, um, this should be the section of the show that's called um, Why Pa is Mad at Me Again. <laughs> I've been meaning to uh -oh. tell you about this all. I know, I know. But this is sort of, this is a, I don't know if it's a snow story or a cat story, but <laughs> so, so last night, and, and, and the other reason too that I'm sharing this with you is because people ask all the time, well, I haven't heard a story about dad lately. <laughs> so he's been minding his P's and Q's lately. So, um, but he's been busy shoveling. He's been busy shoveling. <laughs> he's been too tired. <laughs> shoveling everything, even shoveling off the roof because yes. we have a flat roof here. So he's been super busy. But last night it was super cold. And so we were sitting on the couch together because we have this, um, you always have a ginormous heating blanket. We do. We have I think it's supposed to go on their bed. Heating blanket. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a cuddle. So we're on the couch together with this. And I know we have a house full of quilts, but they don't heat up to 100 degrees. Mm. So we're laying on the couch in our jammies and fluffy socks and with our, our blanket. And I could hear Brother Kitty meowing. You just hear the soft little meow. Okay. Side note on Brother Kitty. Brother Kitty, if you remember way back, was the stray that she left. Oh, the feral cat, not even a stray. Just the feral cat. She had, you know, put in the bathroom, raised through the winter, let them out, feed them, neutered, spayed, the whole shebang. Mm -hmm. Brother Kitty um, has lived with the evil people who have invaded this house. Mm -hmm. With the evil dogs. She moved into, we sold yes. them our house. So Brother Kitty has come in. Tika loves him. Has a doggy door. Has a doggy door. Mm-hmm. Helps himself in, eats, uses litter box, back out he goes. No big deal. Um, Gage, our puppy, thinks it's a really big deal. So at one point, um, we knew he was getting chased and everything was fine, but Brother Kitty made it far enough into the house that he couldn't make it out. So Gage got his tail and everything was okay. No one was hurt. It was not okay. It was not, so I called Mom. I said, hey, Gage has tasted the tip of Brother Kitty's tail. So I have caught him. Drove him at 11 o'clock at night. 11 o'clock at night, it was rescue, rescue mission. <laughs> I had a cage in my house, so I, I was pretty sure I was going to die. He was pissed. But brought him in, everything was good, and yeah. And he's fine. He is the not the thing, same cat. Is that oh he kept saying he's such a feral cat? It's like, no, he's so, he's mean. so sweet. Because he would come in, because again, he's an outside cat. People, <laughs> it's a weird thing living in the country. People just like drop off cats thinking yeah, that you do. don't have enough cats. Well, it's whatever. It's not just the dairy. And so we catch them and we neuter and spay them to try to, you know, stop the population. Stop the population. And so. You know, we have a lot of that, but what happens is he was the only one that would come in and out through the doggy door. Well, his mom would sometimes do, but mm -hmm. come in, eat a little bit, go back out. But he would come in, go all the way back to the family room and kind of sit there and talk to us a little bit. And he would even jump up on the couch and let us pet him on his terms. Sure. But he was very, very friendly. He was very friendly. He was in and out. He was probably more in than out. I felt bad yeah. about leaving Brother Kitty because I thought he would miss me. But, you know, whatever. She worried living, working, living right next I to the highway in him. place, not yeah. a fence. Yeah, so I mean, we didn't really want to... have reasons. Yeah, that he knew, he knew that place and we thought, well, he can come in and out as much as he wants to. But they decided he was feral. So it was kind of funny. So the first night even at my house, he's like all so excited to see me. <laughs> <laughs> it was very sweet. She sent me a picture. I like, sent oh, a little video and he's rubbing up against me. Oh! you know yeah. and I w it was it made me cry because yeah. it has been now um, what eight months he fully remembered me remembered Lizzie rubbing up against Lizzie yeah. Lizzie was not he was meant to go it. with you because he all was he knew was the devil moved in with dogs yes yes <laughs> now the only yes yeah 
<laughs> she was over at the house the other day. He did not. You did not see him. No, I'm not going back with that. He's trying to think. No, <laughs> no. He's trying to think. I fed them. I did everything mom used to do, but you not, no, 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 no. And, and Tika, Tika it. tortured that poor cat. Tika is there. Is my little female cat that just followed him everywhere. What are you doing? What are you doing? You just jumped into that tree. That was so cool. Like, <laughs> leave him alone. You psycho. <laughs> she does miss him. Yeah. She really. She looks for him. And yeah. she can't find him. He's a sweet cat. So, He's so sweet. But the only problem is that at my house, there is no doggy door. Yeah, no doggy So out. he doesn't get to come in and out as he wants to. And we've not yet let him out because now we live in town and right along the highway. Yeah, it's not a whole lot And of so travel. I've not let him out yet. I thought, well, I'm just going to wait. And then, you know, this summer or whatever, then we'll kind of let him out. And he kind of acts like he wants to go out, but... He hadn't really done anything, and so I thought, oh, we just won't even deal with it yet. We'll just let him, you know, continue to get over the the, the trauma yeah. that we had moved out and left him <laughs> with these people. So, anyway, so last night we are sitting on the couch, laying on the couch. We've got our little heating blanket on, and um, we hear this, meow. And it clearly is Brother Kitty. We knew exactly who it was. And it's like, well, where, where is he? What is going on? So we both get up and we start kind of looking around. And, oh, and let me back up. Dad was mad that Brother Kitty came to visit. Because we have this tiny little I got in now. trouble. So I got a call. A dog. <laughs> yeah, you got a call. I did. Why is this cat here? Sorry. But now life is good. Yes. Life is good now. He's all over it's it. The he only straight cat she's getting. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. He realizes all that everything is fine. And, and Brother Kitty was also glad to see him. So it was mm -hmm. all good. And Brother Kitty, not uh, every cat likes Brian, but Brother Kitty does. So yeah. anyway, it was all good. So anyway, so we're sitting there and we hear this meowing. And um, we both get up and we start looking around. And you guys have, we've done enough videos at my house that you have seen my house. Hi. And my house is little. So there's the, the couch in the living room. There's the recliner. There's the television. There's the dining room table. He's not under anything. And that's all that's in there. Yeah. So we're looking, we're looking under everything. He's not anywhere. And we just keep hearing this, oh, help me. Meow. And it kind of sounded like it was coming from far away. And I thought, well, that, so I looked in the sewing room, but the sewing room door had been closed. But I thought, well, maybe. So we looked in there. He wasn't in there. I even looked in the little heat registers, like, oh my gosh, could something have happened there? And we couldn't find him. And he wasn't meowing long enough that you could like track it. Sure. Wait, it came from over there. Wait, it came from over there. So, and again, our house is little. We couldn't find it. So I go over near the window because we've got these great big huge windows that look out onto the deck and I'm standing by the window and I heard it again and I said, oh my gosh, he's outside. He got outside. And so I said, you have to go get him. And Dad goes, I'm not going to rescue my I said, you have to go outside and get him because I, when I come home, I come in through the front door. You, however, took the garbage out the back door and you let him out. And now he's out there meowing because he's cold and he, there's no doggy door. So you Pick have to go get him. So here's Dad in his pajama bottoms <laughs> and his fluffy socks. So he puts on his coat and he puts on his snow boots and he goes out the back door to rescue the cat. Well, he can't find him. And I said, well, I can hear him. And so he says, well, he's not out here. And so we listen. Well, in the meantime, you know, he comes back in. He goes, he was not out there. And I says, oh, my gosh. So right out there, we've got our deck. And there's this little kind of hole under the deck. Because we, have, we do have a stray cat that lives under the deck. We don't know whose cat it ever was. It wasn't ours, but now it is. For the longest it. time, we thought it was a bunny. We thought it was a bunny. <laughs> it's not a bunny. It's a, it's a, it's a fat cat. cat. Yeah. A big fat cat. Yes. So we've decided, I've decided, he must be under that deck, which is why it kind of sounds so distant. So he's made it outside. It's cold outside. He's he went under, under the, the deck, deck, and he's going, ah, meow, meow. And I said, well, he's under the deck. And Brian goes, well, too damn bad. No, it's not too damn bad. <laughs> you let him out. You oh. let him out. He can't make it back in. It is sub-zero temperature out there. You have to go get him. And so there was a little bit of a discussion. <laughs> About the crazy cat lady. You have to go get him. <laughs> you have to because this would not. The, I you call the firefighters. And that's what I said. That's what I said. I said, okay, this is what's gonna happen. You gonna make me call the fire department? And he, we live in town. Everybody knows everybody's business, and they will know that we called the fire department to get the cat out from underneath the deck. And you know, so why don't we just <laughs> do it save the embarrassment? Go out and get him. And all you're gonna have to do is sh shine your little light. And he'll know this is the way out. So, you know, 
follow the light. He finally decides. <laughs> so he goes, <laughs> he puts his pants on. He puts his coveralls oh, on. Man. He puts his boots, laces up these big old boots. He puts on his hat. He puts on his little flashlight thing on his hat. He puts on his gloves. He gets his coat on. And just oh, as no. he's... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Kenny. Oh, uh, just <laughs> as he's zipping up his coat, I see this flash of movement out of the side of my eye. I turn, and I see the back of the recliner, I see this little paw. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Don't Sorry. look now. Oh, the the recliner. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> uh, I was in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> recliner before he decided to come and snuggle with oh, me. Oh, and he jumped in the little pocket. So oh, when God, Dad was so in the recliner, he got in there and did whatever he was doing in there. And, and then out. Dad got out and, and came and sat by me. <laughs> I did all the ripping up. So over the me. moral to the story is, don't recline. Make Let's sure that kitty is on your lap. <laughs> Make sure that kitty is on your lap. That is oh, the moral to the story. God, Cats so should funny. be on the lap before you get up. Oh, hilarious. Yeah, so anyway, Dad was not speaking to me yet I'm when he so went to bed last night. But I'm thinking today it's all going to be okay. So. so, if he would have been outside and Brother King, would you have caught Brother King and thrown his ass outside? I would have thrown his ass outside so fast. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. It oh, he oh. would have taken a dive. And a, yeah, That's I don't so know how funny. I would have gotten out of that. I would have oh. been huge. Oh, I would have been so. such bad. <laughs> Oh, that is just so the right time. Funny. And I'm thinking too, all that time he was mewing was his paw. Uh, it, it wouldn't have been. Well, who would have thought? Oh no, caught in Did the it, recliner. I mean, I've got. I'm not. I'm not kidding. I've got three pieces of furniture. In and my the house. recliner's little. It's not one of those little. big old lazy boys, you know. He's with it. Well, he probably. That's why he's out of so far away. I'm sure that the recliner is like. <laughs> Push him away. He is not a little cat. He's a big cat. He's a yeah. He's. He's oh, not a little cat. That's funny. Poor brother kitty. Poor brother kitty. Poor dad. <laughs> poor me. I'm sure somewhere in there it's poor, <laughs> it's poor me. Okay, okay it's probably not. not. <laughs> well, it's poor me because I don't know what I'm going to have to make for dinner tonight, but it's going to have to be something. <laughs> Roast potatoes. <laughs> that was Carrots. how I got out of being in trouble for ringing over the street. I never <laughs> night was something good. <laughs> London broil. Oh, there you go. Gotta get some more beef out. Yeah, and get some more beef out. <laughs> So, oh, anyway. that's a good one. Yeah, so, yeah, this is the section of the uh, why I'm in trouble now, but anyway. Always over a cat. It's always over a cat. It's always over or an, an animal. animal of some sort. Yeah, yeah I that's am that so crazy funny. cat lady. I'm only not the crazy cat lady because I'm married, but... <laughs> Or it would be worse. <laughs> She'd be that little old lady all dooted up with a flashlight. She would be. <laughs> Bringing home No, she every just called stray. the fire department. That's what yeah. she'd do. Yeah. She had one of the little, young, cute boys from the fire department. Hey, Billy. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> I got a cat. It's fine. It's <laughs> Take a help me. Yeah. Don't yeah. bring the lights this time. <laughs> uh, that's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else we should share? I don't think so. I don't think so yeah. either. We will see things. you at one, just in case you're curious. Yes. Or if you're cruising with us, we'll have more details mm -hmm. at that at one o'clock. And we'll see you at five o'clock for box open. Yeah. All Fun right. Day. All right. <laughs> see you guys Bye. later. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.